please protect the lid from scratches by using a soft surface like cardboard. Loosen eight screws. They don't come out so that you can't lose them. Use a plastic spudger to carefully pop the cover off. The best place to start is above the Ethernet socket, but you may need to use your fingernail to start it off. Twist the spudger to pop the catches. You will eventually be able to pull it up with your fingers, but do this gently. Here, I'm pointing at the used RAM chip slot. If you're replacing the RAM, then gently prise the catches to the side and the chip will pop up and you can slide it out. Notice the offset gap in the middle of the chip. This is designed to only be inserted into the slot one way. DIM2 is the spare slot, so use this if you are adding a second DIM chip for example, 8 plus 8 to a total of 16 gigabytes. To insert the chip, simply reverse the previous action, sliding it back in at an angle. Push down until the catches click it into place. To put the cover back on, use the Ethernet flap to show you which way round it goes. Then you will need to angle it back into one edge so that the clips fall into place. You can then place it down flat and use gentle pressure to click all the catches back into place. Look around the edges to see if there are any gaps where the catches have not settled. Push down on the cover to do that. Once the cover is in place, tighten up the screws but do not over tighten them as you may need to get back inside another time.